Up first this evening, tension in Trench Town, St. Andrew, following the shooting death of a woman on 4th Street this afternoon. The woman's nephew was also shot and injured. The deceased woman has been identified as Cynthia Robinson. Many have been asking what went wrong, as the area has been under curfew from Thursday. CBJ News understands Miss Robinson, who was babysitting her grandchild, was sitting outside her home with her nephew when gunmen invaded the property. It's further understood the nephew attempted to run but was chased and shot. He's in hospital. According to residents, the gunmen came on foot and made their escape through several yards in the area. Meanwhile, the curfew in Trenchtown should have ended at 6 this evening, but as Kirk Wright now reports, it has been extended because of security concerns. The latest round of sporadic shootings in Trenchtown, St. Andrew, nights ago, claimed the life of 41-year-old Trace Newland and the injuring of another man and a pregnant woman. The police established a curfew to prevent reprisals. Because we have a lot of intelligence assets in the community trying to pick up what is happening, trying to test what's happening on the ground. Usually um, the risk associated with it is dependent on the victim. In this instance, we know that one of the, the, the victims in this particular shooting incident is one where we anticipate that there could be counter shooting and reprisal. So we are looking at it from many, many standpoints. Glenford Bennett or Trench Town, Glen is well known in the community, but he's also popular among tourists who visit Trench Town to purchase pieces of his handiwork. COVID-19 has already slowed the number of visitors to the community, but he said the constant violence is doing further harm. Bad, bad. As bad as things usually are, the community experiences periods of calm. Problem is, at times, the upsurge is unpredictable. The residents say the violence sometimes stem from a missing gun or one side taking revenge for the killing or injuring of a friend or family member. For the most part, though, the community knows when war is imminent and takes precautions. The residents say the persons involved in the war are usually persons below the age of 30. For the meantime, the security forces say they are maintaining a presence and will keep assessing the situation to decide their next move. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.